Hi, I'm Paul from Bitonto Pizza. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about an incredible set of books called Modernist Pizza. It's a really amazing collection, the likes I have never seen before. It's great for somebody who doesn't know anything about making pizza up to the world's best pizza chefs. It has a foreword by Enzo Coccia, but the books are written by a former executive of Microsoft Corporation and the level of detail, science and engineering, as well as history and research is beyond belief. Let's take a look at what they have to offer. There are three books in this amazing set. The first one talks about the history and basically the fundamentals of pizza. If you haven't read much about the history of pizza or you're curious about it, I would say that this is pretty much a definitive guide. The second is techniques and ingredients. And the techniques and ingredients section goes into amazing and excruciating detail. It deals with a lot of styles of pizza that I've never worked on, but I find fascinating. The third is recipes. The great thing about the recipes book, not that you really need a lot of detail on recipes. It explains the why between the different kinds of pizza, the different recipes for pizza, and it explains how to balance out the crust the toppings, the sauce, the cheese, and why those balances make sense for each different type of recipe. It also covers recipes for all different styles of pizza and some recipes that you may never have seen before. So let's take a look and crack open the first book. The four words give you an idea of the level of authority and clarity that these books provide. Now, whether they paid Enzo Colcia and Tony Gemignani to write these four words, these guys take their reputation very seriously. If you don't know them, Tony Gemignani is an American pizza chef and he's been doing it for years and years and years. Enzo Cocha, in my view, is the world's leading expert on Neapolitan pizza. He's an amazing teacher, an amazing pizza iolo, extremely informative, extremely well-versed. I follow pretty much every video and every book I can of Enzo Coaches. A little bit about the authors. So Nathan Mirvold was a Microsoft executive, but a scientist from the time he was young. He eventually became the chief technology officer and worked directly under Bill Gates. Whatever you think of Bill Gates, Nathan is an amazing guy, an amazing scientist, and just um, a great creative human all the way around. And it shows in the way that this book is written. Uh, Francisco Magoya is probably known as one of the world's greatest chefs, and he's an avid pizzaiolo. His love of pizza and cuisine comes through in this book in spades. I don't know if they wrote this book themselves or had a ghostwriter take care of it, but whatever the case, the result is a readable, very in-depth, very engaging piece of content. One thing I might note at this point, the set of books comes in at about 40 pounds when you include the metal case, but the paper and the quality of this is as good as any coffee table book I've ever seen. You'll notice just flipping through the level of quality in the images, uh, in the text, there's a ton of different experiments about making pizza, hydration, different sized styles of crust, etc. The first book is divided into three sections. So one is like really the basics and the fundamental of pizza. The history is broken up into a number of different sections. Each section uh, is a couple pages long. The organization and the layout looks a little bit like an encyclopedia but the articles themselves are all very much tied together in a common thread, often answer each other's questions. So this way of writing has made it really enjoyable for me because not only am I a pizza buff, but I'm also quite a history buff. You get gems like this timeline, which really shows what some of the different phases in the history of pizza are and answers a lot of questions like, when did pizza evolve? When was it really pizza? When did it become like the pizza that we know today? The history itself is amazing, but because it's written in this encyclopedia style fashion, you could actually skip around without really losing much and without losing the thread of the content. I would encourage you not to skip around too much 
because the content is really amazing and all of it is truly fascinating. It covers a lot of different styles of pizza. And not only does it do that in words and text and descriptions, but they've gone to painstaking efforts to make some of the most fantastic photography of pizza, of pizza sections, of crusts, so that you can see the different styles of pizza and probably recognize maybe that you've eaten some of them and not really known it. There are several different pages dedicated to the different styles of pizza. So whether you like Neapolitan style pizza, uh, canotto, which is sort of a branch of Neapolitan style with a thick crust around the ring, but extremely airy, to pizza styles in Tokyo and in New York and different places around the globe. It gives you an idea and a sense of how broad this definition of pizza really is. If you like traveling, then you'll like this book. They highlight some of the main cities where great pizza is made and some of those places you might not think about, like in Connecticut. I think one of the greatest pizzerias in the world is in Arizona in a relatively small town uh, a couple hours drive from Phoenix. So there's some really amazing places to eat pizza in the world. And these guys have dug in. I think they must have visited them all because they have photos of pizza that match the quality of the other photos in the book. At the end of the book, they address some of the fundamentals for making pizza. If you've watched my other videos, then you know that there are some really basic fundamental techniques for making good pizza dough. They show not only good pizza dough, but bad pizza dough, what causes the problem in the dough here. And they, as always, they have amazing photography so that you can really see the details of what's good and what's bad. And you can really see the Miravold's scientific approach come through as they experiment with pizza. I really, really love this. The second book deals with techniques and ingredients. This is the book, to be honest, that appeals the most to me. I think where my pizza game really needs to improve is in technique. Because I don't have hundreds of hours of experience or thousands of hours experience like Enzo Kocha does making pizza and experimenting with pizza, it's harder for me to really hone my techniques. But these guys do a great job of not only explaining the techniques, which I've read in written word and watched videos on, but they break down the process and they show great photography as always in teaching the different techniques in making great dough and in making great pizza. One of the things I really love about this book are these little asides. These are those things that you wonder about while you're making pizza or learning to make pizza that deserve their own treatment. And they are things that you can come back to again and again. All those little things that you've wondered about, they've wondered about them too, and they've written them up. It's amazing. Going back to the styles, if you wanna know if your dough came out right, wow, well, here's the photographic evidence. Compare it to the photos they have here of some perfectly made pizza dough of a dozen or more different styles. I really encourage you to take a look at this. If you can get this book, and there's a link below where you can purchase it, you'll find a wide variety of tools, images, and descriptions that will help you improve your pizza game. There's an entire chapter on sauce, which most people would say, well, it's just tomatoes or tomato sauce, and really most considered to be the easiest part of the pizza, and is often neglected in making great pizza. And they cover not only tomato-based sauces, but also uh, what are called emulsion-based sauces. The other thing that I found really interesting is they care so much about the sauce that they even talk about the tomato and give you this great chart on the history of the tomato and modern cuisine. A lot of people don't know Tomatoes were discovered in America by the Spanish and brought back to Europe and then became a part of the cuisine. And I think every pizzaiolo should understand the history of the tomato because then you'll understand, well, why San Marzano tomatoes or why Roma tomatoes or why whatever kind of tomato you're putting on the pizza is the right choice. And of course, if we have a chapter on sauce, we have a chapter on cheese. To be honest, the chapter on cheese is quite a bit thicker but I think deservedly so. They also explain the techniques and the care used in making cheese and why some of the cheeses that are very commonly used in pizza are really not great choices and why you get 
some compromised results when you use a cheese that's simply not up to snuff. The first book has a great section on ovens. I almost feel like this section really belonged at the end of book two, but I can understand why they introduced the oven because it's one of the fundamental instruments for making a great pizza. As you can tell from the photography, they've really gone deep on the different types of ovens and what makes an oven really do its job and what different types of heating, different types of fuels, what kind of effects they may have on the oven themselves. A picture is worth a thousand words, and in this case, we have both. This introduction to the oven, the gas-fired and wood-fired pizza oven, explains exactly what happens in the oven and what effect it has on the pizza when you cook it. Anybody that has cooked a Neapolitan-style pizza in a pizza oven knows that you need to have the perfect balance of a high floor temperature, reflective ceiling of the oven, the right amount of flame, and the heat and pressure inside the oven to produce the best product have to be perfectly balanced. This book describes to you what those different elements are and shows you exactly what the effect they have on that final pizza is. Finally, they have an entire book dedicated to recipes. And these recipes include everything from making the crust to the sauce, to the toppings, the cheese to use. If you're interested in Brazilian thin crust pizza, which is one of the styles they introduce in this book, you get this amazing picture of an exploded view of that pizza. And it really helps you to understand what the different layers are and how they work in harmony with each other. One of the things they do throughout this set of books is to introduce different famous pizzaioli. I really love these asides. They give you a hint of the philosophy, of the flavorings and the styles that are chosen by those pizzaioli and why and what makes them different and what their unique contribution to the world of pizza is. I think understanding the masters and really seeing what they do and understanding and even imitating it is one of the ways that you will improve your pizza game. It's really an amazing catalog of the world of pizza and how to make it. Of course, if you've ever taken pizza making seriously, you'll know that it's an art and it takes a lot of effort. There's a struggle that's involved in learning how to make really the greatest pizza. You'll appreciate the detail that they go into, the mistakes that they cover, and just how many different styles of pizza there are. This has really ignited my curiosity and learning about other styles and other recipes. I've been very focused on Neapolitan style pizza, but I'm ready to branch out. And these books have really given me a view that will help me to make decisions about what to do next, some of the things to try, and really maybe some of the things that I thought I might be interested in, but in the end will be less interesting for me. So I encourage you to take a look at these books. If you can afford this set of books, it's not cheap. I think it's about 250 US dollars now. Uh, probably half of that is shipping, but the information and the execution of these books is amazing. I'd like to thank my kids and daughter-in-law for the thoughtfulness of this gift. I'm really excited about what it's bringing to me and what it's gonna mean for my pizza game in the near future. If you would like to get this set of books, there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below.